Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you top of my favourite 15 things about Minecraft that you may not have known. I'm going to start us off here with quite an interesting fact, actually. You cannot tell pods are with any type of hoe. So, diamond? Nope. Iron? Nope. Stone? Nope. Gold? No. And wooden? No. So, yeah. So number one, you cannot tile Podzol and turn it into grassland. So yeah, that's fact number one. In at number two, we have name tags and also a command. So first, if we go up to sheep and we acquire a, a name tag and name it Jeb underscore, the sheep will need to be named Jeb underscore and it will change from every colour. Now, the loads of questions in BR have been asked, if you kill the sheep, do you get rainbow ball? You don't get rainbow wool. Then if we move on to dinner bone, it turns any mob upside down. Which is really awesome. Then uh, we have the killer bunny. So you can have a summon it with this command. Pause now if you want to copy this. You can either summon it with this command or it has a one in a thousand chance of spawning in your world. Which thinking about it is actually pretty likely it will spawn in your world. And if we go into survival. It can attack us in hard, I think it is. Uh, where are you going? God damn it! So, I'm pretty sure if you go into game, uh, if you go into survival, it will kill you if you're on hard. So, as you can see, we get hit. Did you see him? So it does half of your health. It's a two hit kill. That is insane for a little rabbit. So yeah, so basically, yeah, that, that's the killer rabbit. It just kills you in two hits. Freaking OP. But yeah. And yeah, that's that. So that's fact number two. Coming in at fact number three. If you breed sheep that are two different colours, then if, if the colours mix, your baby will be a mixed colour. So if we go ahead. They'll breed and they should make an orange coloured sheep. So you can see if we hit that sheep by the way, it gave an orange coloured baby. But if you did blue, light, cyan and grey, it will give one of the either parents colours. Because they, them two colours don't mix. But as you can see, if we breed two colours that mix, it gives a mixed coloured baby. That's fact number three. Coming in at number, at number four, if you name a rabbit toast, it gives it a secret texture. There you go. Coming in at number five, carpet blocks allow you to jump over cobblestone walls and also any type of fence. Coming in at number six, if you some if you if a light sorry if a lightning gets hit if oh sorry guys if a villager gets struck by lightning, it turns into a witch. This also works for creepers, get turned into a charged creeper, As you can see it has like a blue aurora around it, and the pig gets turned into a zombie pigman. Coming up with fact number 7, although they look a bit scary, jack-o'-lanterns emit the highest level of light alongside with glowstone and sea lanterns with the added benefit that they are easy to get hold of. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. And coming in at fact number 10, soul sand makes you go slower. But, as you can see here, soul sand makes you go slower. But, if you add ice underneath it, keeping in mind that's other soul sand stones, it makes you go extremely slow and I'm not crouching. This is the same speed as crouching, if you would like to know as well, so yeah that's fact number 10 coming in at number 12 uh, with the redstone signal it can only go 15 blocks and let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 when it gets to 15 if you put 16 it cuts off but the way you can increase the signal strength is by placing a repeater then it re-strengthens it but the downside is it uses up a slot of space. 
Yeah, that's fact number 12. If you would like to know, for number 13, Sword with Smite does more damage to the Wither or any undead mob. Seventeen hits to kill a wither with a smite five sword, and as you can see, it doesn't have any increased attack damage. But go ahead and attack this wither. to kill him and it took us for 17 with um a smite uh with a smite five sword so yeah in general use a smite five when you clean the wither because it does more damage even though it has the same attack damage but that is fact number 13 for fact slash secret number 14 there is a secret disc called number 11 which really you can just acquire from the main from the creative menu next to wards and weight and let's listen to it And there we go. So there you have it, disc number eleven, and it's pretty creepy. You know, and loads of people say that it's a reenactment of a hero brain chasing a person in the cave. I don't know. Leave it in the comment section below what you think uh, the disc number eleven was meant to represent. And that is fact number fourteen. For well, fact number fifteen. The only way to legitimately acquire a bottle of enchanting in survival is by going to a village and finding a cleric, specifically a cleric, so the villager with the purple jacket called a cleric, and his last trade should be five emeralds or however many for a bottle of enchanting. So, For a stack, you can buy seven, and I think max is seven. So yeah, so the only way to legitimately in survival in PC get a bottle of enchanting is by going to a cleric uh -huh. and going to his very uh -huh. last trade, which is bottle of enchanting. So yeah, that's how you get a bottle of enchanting uh -huh. legitimately survival, and that was facts number 15. So yeah guys, that was 15 facts about Minecraft that you maybe didn't know. I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, Minecraft video and please leave a like down below if you did enjoy this video and please subscribe for more Minecraft gameplay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!